so today we are going skate shopping, but not for roller skates. We are picking up some ice skates today, hopefully. Um, I'm headed to Chelsea Piers, which is like a sports recreational kind of place in NYC. Um, and they have a little shop that sells ice skates. First place I went yesterday, didn't have my size. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can find my size today here. So take you along for the process. So we are here and we're gonna head in. nice on the water and I always the path there's a skate path I don't know if you can see it or a bike path um, that you can skate on which I have many times um, yeah so you can see all the stuff they offer just a gym rock climbing yoga and meditation classes ice skating Swimming, I think there's golfing here. Lots of stuff. Okay, so we are headed in the right direction. I have been here before. This place is just so big. I didn't realize it. I think I've been here a couple of times actually, like using the facility to go bowling. So, um, but I've never been to any of the other places here. So. And there's so many different signs that say, like it's here, and then it's down there, it's down on the other side. It's, it confuses you as to where the actual location is. <laughs> but I found it, finally. Here we go. Uh, it's the pro shop, do you know where that is? No, like, no, like where you buy, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Skater's Edge. I'm excited. For the diamonds, they're two twenty five, which is okay. I think, I think these are okay. So, yeah. See how much the if there's a public session today, when it is, and how much it is. Depending on on those factors, we'll see if I'll skate here. If not, then I'm gonna head to either Bryant Park or um, what's the other one? Prospect Park. Maybe both. They're very close to each other. Um, well, not very, but like they're close. So yeah, we'll see. All right, y'all. 
got my skates. Lydell's. Um, stuck with Lydell's because I love the fit of my Moxies, which manufactured, they're manufactured by Rydell. Jackson's are, every pair of Jackson skates I've had have felt too big for me. I don't know how I, their ice skates work. Maybe they do come in different widths and I've just been getting the wrong width for my, uh, for my roller skates, which is likely. Um, but yeah, they only had Rydell's there anyway. I went for the diamonds. Those were the ones that I was looking at online. Um, those in the crystals. So I'm surprised that they had them. Um, yeah, so it took a little bit to sharpen those babies up, but now we're gonna head to a rink and I'll give a little bit more uh, detail. There you can see me. I don't know if I was washed out that whole time, but yeah. So I said Prospect Park, but I meant Central Park. Uh, Prospect Park does have a rink but that's not where I wanted to go today. I meant either Woolman um, at Central or Bryant Park. Uh, however, Woolman is closed for the day. And to my disappointment, literally every other option either closed for the day or closed for the season. So I edited out all of my running around, hitting dead ends, and I just ended up going home, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, also we're gonna do the unboxing. That is just a standard Rydell box that most of our skates come in. We have the product information on the side. We have the model for the boot, which is 133, color white, medium width, size eight, which happens to be my regular shoe size. I don't know if that is standard. Um, but yeah, uh, and it's the Capri Blade. So let's open this baby up. So, I purchased some extras. I have the socks, these Mondor Thin Sandy Socks. The preliminary um, research that I did when you know buying skates it said to get you're going to use thin socks um so picked up some thin socks and i also picked up some soakers uh official gear elite hockey true to the game it's for absorption and protection of your blades got the senior adult size large um and some from o in the back let me open these babies up to give you a little closer look. Okay, so it's just basically terry cloth um, with a little bit of extra stitching on the bottom. I don't know if I could walk in these also. I was gonna get the, um, I forgot, the guards, the blade guards, but the guy who sold me the skates, he's basically said you it's not necessary. So, um, he's like, if you're not going to be doing a lot of walking in the skates, then you don't need, you don't need it, basically. I mean, we'll see. Um, but anyway, these go just on the blade to soak up extra moisture once you're off the ice. Um, we have the skates. I just want to quickly see what else is in the box besides that. He did open them up. Let me try them on. So there might have been extra stuff that he took out. You know, standard plastic, random extra little cardboard piece, and the owner manual. Um, yeah. So let's get to the boot. Let me lace them up to look a little cuter. Hold on. Okay. So we have the skate. Like I said, I got a size eight. These are not made in America, which is weird. <laughs> I thought all skates were, all of their skates were made in America. Maybe it's just the roller skates. But anyway, look at this boot. I can't even squeeze it. 
Oh my God, it's so, I'm like trying. I cannot squeeze this baby, it is so stiff. Bro, this tongue is not moving. <laughs> it has a little bit of squeeze, but forward and backward, it's it's not, it's hardly giving. Um, let's look at some of the features. It has the metal grips on the side, notch. Um, it was handled a bunch, and I did walk in them a bunch, so we got a little, some little scuffs already. Um, I have three little diamond pieces on the front. It is sharp as hell. They did get sharpened. Look at this toe pick. Um... Like I said, the blade is a Capri blade. Um, JT 10 and a half. I don't know what that means yet. <laughs> Stainless steel. Um, we have the Rydell logo. I believe this is a leather boot. I would hope so for the price. But yeah, there we go. guys can look up the details I am not very familiar with ice skates and the, the terminology for things and whatnot but this is what it's but it, what I know from my very very little research um the faces are pretty thin which I think is typical to like really tighten them up get a good nice grip on them yeah, so this is what the boot is looking like. I wish I would have took into account the back stay and like the angle of the back stay. Um, I wish I would have gotten a little one that was a little lower, but you know, this is what they had. I didn't feel like ordering anything online. I wanted to make sure that I got properly measured and all that. So can't wait to try these out tomorrow. This is the cat. Romeo, he's patiently waiting for the box to be emptied. But yeah, y'all, I will try these babies out tomorrow and see how it goes. All right, y'all, so it is the next day and I'm in Prospect Park. It's so pretty, especially as it has thawed <laughs> from winter, the depths of winter. Um, we're headed to the rink, which is right over there. I don't know if I've showed this rink properly. Um, this is where I, I roller skate a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna ice skate today. I'm excited, got here a little early to make sure I stretch, mentally prepare. Oh God, it's been a long time since I've ice skated. I tried two years ago which was right when I was first learning how to skate properly, roller skate properly. Um, and it was, I, my skates were the wrong size, so I like stopped immediately, like after like a half hour or something. Um, and then before that time, it was five years since I had ice skated. So I've been watching a couple of videos on how to properly start gonna watch a few more in the meantime as I wait for the session to start um, I really want to know how to stop <laughs> so I mean I kind of know how to do the T stop I think that's not a stop that you can use on ice the plow stop but we're gonna just double check see you know and see yeah y'all I'm gonna get stretch get my ticket and then Start. So this rink has an outdoor space and an in, well, they're both outdoors, but an uncovered space and then the covered space. They're resurfacing the ice. Um, 
um, before the session starts. This is the cover spot. This is where I bought my ticket for the cover spot. today there's a couple of people <laughs> Okay, y'all, voiceover Mary here because there's audio playing in the ring and I don't want to get any copyright strikes or anything. Um, not that I'm making money on this video anyway, but it, when you get strikes and stuff, it'll decrease the visibility of your video. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing some of the skills that I have picked up from the couple of videos that I've watched plus um, trying to see what transfers over from roller skating so um, that you see the first clip was like forward skating now backward skating with transitions <laughs> I tried to do a little crossover situation um, ca caught my skate <laughs> Cut my my picks. Um, don't know how to stop there. Definitely. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty it's much. Pretty good. Okay. I am finding. I'm taking a little break. My feet are cramping like crazy. Um, but what I'm finding most difficult is tripping over my toe stop. Um, the depth. So shallow like on roller skates you really have to push down to get to the front on these it is like so shallow you're just a little bit of pressure you're already on your toe stop so um, that's what I'm having most issue with and like cramping like my lower back and my feet are like on fire which is I guess I don't know why my lower back is hurting like you know, I've been skating a lot so well not a lot I've been skating that hasn't happened since the early days of like, I'm sorry, I'm looking at this guy like pouring water on the, <laughs> on the, on the ice. I'm just wondering why. Probably my toe socks have gouged out. Spots. <laughs> That's probably me. My toe socks have probably gouged out parts of the ice. But anyway, yes. So like, I feel like I've built up my lower back muscles enough. I haven't been skating as often, but that hasn't happened since like my early days of uh, roller skating. So I don't know what's going on with my lower back, but maybe it's just different muscles ice skating is using. But uh, yeah, I'm taking a little break. I did try a little baby spin, but I was very scared. I have to figure out, I don't know, can you stop going backwards? <laughs> I don't know. But I definitely was going backwards and was like, oh my god, how do I stop? Um, but yeah, some skills have definitely transferred, which I am shocked. I felt like my first time, they, I mean, my first time in two years last year, I was like, no, this, this isn't it. But I think me looking up some videos beforehand definitely helped, especially like with edging. Um, 
Uh, and I'm gonna also retighten, relace up. I do feel my feet moving around a bit. I, I knew for sure they were too loose, but I just couldn't grip them hard enough. So I'm gonna try and relace with a tighter grip and go back out there. The session is two hours, so, I mean, an hour and a half, and we're only probably like in half, yeah, we're only a half an hour in, so got plenty of time. y'all so we're done ice skating um like i said it went so much better this time because i kind of looked up some videos on like basic basic figure skating and just like didn't wing it like how i had done like my whole life with, with, with um ice skating and roller skating when i first started honestly um uh turns out having some basic instruction helps um <laughs> So yeah, that it felt more natural um, implementing some stuff that I knew from roller skating, like transitions and backward skating, especially weirdly enough, felt really comfortable. Um, then forward skating, um, I definitely need to break those boots in as much as possible before the end of ice skating season. So I'm gonna be hitting a couple of rings um, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, it, it went so much smoother, so much better. And uh, yeah, I don't, unlike roller skating, I do not have a somewhat intimate knowledge of, you know, the specs and how it should feel and how it shouldn't feel. I don't know. So yeah, so I can't really speak to like the specifics on how they feel skating. I'm not an ice skater. I don't know. Um, I do know they're not very comfortable. <laughs> These skates are not for comfort purposes. If I wanted comfort, I would have definitely gone for a, um, a less stiff boot and a more padded boot. Let's see, like, uh, like a Jackson soft skate, which has a lot of comfort. They look extremely comfortable. A lot of padding around it, but they're recreational skates. These are more for taking instruction. But yeah, y'all, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, this is just more of an unboxing and first impressions kind of thing. Right now, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. at this moment. <laughs>